Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Michelle and this is Miss Caitlin. I'm so happy you're here today. If you like helping, clap once. If you like helping, clap twice. If you like helping, clap three times. Oh good, because we really need your help today. Mm -hmm. You see, our story objects are missing. The objects help us tell the Bible story. In just a little bit, we can hop to it and find them together. Today's true Bible story is going to teach us that I can tell everyone about Jesus. That's our big idea for today. Let's say it together. I can tell everyone about Jesus. It's true. I can tell everyone about Jesus. In fact, that's what today's memory verse tells us. Let me teach it to you. Go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Let's do that together. Yeah. Ready? Go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Great job. It's time to worship now. Let's sing and dance and praise God. No matter how dark night or day, God's love helps me not to be afraid. No matter how high a mountain I see, God's love is bigger and it makes me want to sing. I know. No matter what, I'm loved because God loves me. 
does, like he does. There is only one who loves me like he does, no matter what. His name is Jesus. He is the strongest. His name is Jesus, and he is oh so good. attention glasses. Nice and tight. Yep. And let's grab those listening ears. Click those on to make sure they're straight. And on three, we're going to zip, lock, and button. One, two, three. Zip, lock, and button. And now let's get our hearts ready by praying. God, we love you so much. Help us to pay attention and learn from you during our story today. Amen. Amen. Guess who hopped back into our room for a visit? That's right. It's Kenzie the kangaroo. Unfortunately, she's looking kind of sad again. You see, she had our story objects in her kangaroo pouch. She hopped all the way to our room here at church. And when she got here, the story objects fell out and now they're lost. We need the story objects to tell the Bible story. Yeah. Let me see your pretend binoculars. We can use our pretend binoculars to look around the room and help Kenzie find the lost story objects. While we tell the Bible story, I'll bet when we find all the lost objects, Kenzie will feel so happy again. If you're ready to get started, let's give Kenzie two big thumbs up. Great! First, let's get our Bible out of the super duper Bible box. Then we can look for our missing story object. We need your help getting the Bible out, though. We need to say our special Bible words together. Repeat these special words after me. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Let's look for our first story object. Use your pretend binoculars to look for a walking stick. Hmm. Walking stick. Oh, here it is right here. In the Bible, in the book of Acts, there was a man named Philip who was walking down the road. While he was walking, he met a man from Ethiopia. Can you say Ethiopia with me? Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a different country from far away. Let's look for our next story object. Use the pen binoculars and look for a Bible. Hmm, a Bible. I see it. It's over there. Yep, I see it too. 
the man was sitting in the chariot and reading from the book of Isaiah. That's in the Bible. God's spirit said to Philip, go stand by the man's chariot. Let's look for our next story object. You should pretend binoculars to look for some running shoes. Hmm, do you see some running shoes? Oh, I see them. Right away, Philip ran to the chariot. Let's stand up and pretend like we're Philip running to the chariot. Say this with me. We're running, we're running, we're running to the chariot. We're running, we're running, we're running to the chariot. Let's look for the next story object. You should pretend binoculars to look for a chair. Hmm, do you see a chair anywhere? We're sitting in them. We are, we're sitting in them. Good job, guys. When Philip got to the chariot, he asked the man, do you understand what you're reading in the Bible? The man said, no, I don't. I need someone to explain it to me. So he invited Philip to sit down next to him. Let's look for our next story object. Use your pretend binoculars and look for a picture of Jesus. Hmm, where is a picture of Jesus? <gasps> right back here. While Philip sat with the man, he told him the good news about Jesus. He told him how Jesus died, but now he's alive. When the man heard the good news, he believed in Jesus too. On the count of three, let's shout hooray for the man. One, two, three. Hooray! Hey, look, it's our friend Kenzie. She's so happy that we found the lost story object and told the Bible story. In our true Bible story for today, Philip told the man all about Jesus. The man was from Ethiopia, a country that's far, far away. Philip started sharing the good news about Jesus, and so can we. Do you think you can say Jesus loves you to people with different color skin than yours? Yes, you can. On the count of three, let's all yell, Jesus loves you. One, two, three. Jesus loves you. Do you think you can say Jesus loves you to people who speak in a different language than you? Yes, you can. On three, let's shout, Jesus loves you. One, two, three. Jesus loves you. Do you think you can say Jesus loves you to people who live in a different country than yours? Yes, you can. On the count of three, let's all yell, Jesus loves you. One, two, three. Jesus loves you. It doesn't matter what people look like or what they sound like or where they live. The good news about Jesus is for everyone. Jesus wants us to share the good news so we can tell everyone about Jesus. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell it to our parents when we see them, but maybe we should practice first. Yeah, we probably should practice, but the person we're supposed to practice with is asleep. He's always sleeping. Topher is taking another nap, you guys, so we have to wake him up. And when he wakes up, we need to tell him, I can tell everyone about Jesus. Let's do it. On the count of three, let's all yell, Topher the gopher, wake up, wake up. One, One two, three. Topher the gopher, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? I can tell everyone about Jesus. Wow, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Bye. Let's wave to Topher. Let's say a prayer to Jesus and ask him to help us tell others about him. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I believe that you are alive. I believe that you are alive. And that you love us very much. And that you love us very much. Please help me share the good news. Please help me share the good news. With everyone I know. With everyone I know. Amen. Amen. It's time for our blessing now. Hold out your hands to receive. Children, may you know how far and how wide and how long God's love for you is. And may you share that love with the whole world. 